Tu es Petrus, et super hanc Petram, edificabo ecclesiam meam. The ancient song with these words of Christ introduced the rite of the ordinary public consistory in the course of which Monsignor Prospero Grec, Professor Emeritus at various Roman universities and consultor to the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, received the Cardinal's Beretta and diaconal title of the Church of St. Maria Goretti. After 111 years, he is the first Augustinian to enter the College of Cardinals, and only the second Maltese Cardinal in history. In recognition of this fact, in addition to the officials of the Augustinian Order, Prior General Robert Prevost and his collaborators present in the Basilica, were members of the delegation of Malta led by the President of the Republic, George Abela. The conferral of the Cardinalate on Father Grec and 21 other candidates is above all an ecclesial event, the Pope declared in his homily. Cardinals, by virtue of a church in Rome being assigned to them, are fully inserted into the Church of Rome, which is led by the successor of Peter, in order that they may cooperate closely with him in governing the universal church. To the new cardinals is given the service of love, the Pope announced. Love for God, love for his church, love for one's brothers and sisters with unconditional loyalty, even to the shedding of one's blood if necessary, as the formula for the bestowal of the beretta and the color of the cardinal's robes indicate. In the passage of the gospel that was proclaimed, there is an allusion to the passion. Service to God and to one's brothers and sisters is the giving of self. This is the logic which authentic faith marks and develops in our daily life, the Pope said, and which is not the world's approach to power and glory. Looking at the disciples, power and service, egoism and altruism, possession and gift, profit and generosity. These attitudes, which are deeply in contrast one to another, meet head-on in every age and in every place. But to the figure of the Son of Man, he who receives power from God, Jesus adds the image of the suffering servant described by Isaiah. He receives power and glory insofar as he is a servant, but he is a servant in that he takes upon himself the destiny of suffering and sin for all humanity. The Pope then addressed the Cardinals directly. May the total gift of self offered by Christ on the cross be for you the rule, the incentive, and the strength for a faith which operates in charity. On the ring which was given to each cardinal are depicted Saints Peter and Paul, and in the center a star which is a reminder of the Madonna. Wearing this ring the cardinals are called each day to remember the witness which the two apostles gave to Christ even unto death through martyrdom in Rome, nourishing the church by their blood, while the remembrance of the Virgin Mary is an invitation to follow her who was fervent in faith and a humble servant of the Lord.